Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's Supplemental Numismatic News and Information for the 28th day of October 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to... Bam, there we go. Look at this. This is the United States Mint's website. And we are looking at the subscriptions for the next year's first honoree for the American Women Quarters Program, and that's Betsy Coleman. And right now, you can currently add the um, Denver and the Philadelphia to your subscriptions. Isn't that incredible? However, right now, uh, you cannot, it says not available for the two-roll set nor the three-roll set. However, I would probably hit remind me on both of those if you want them um, because they probably are going to come back because check this out. The United States Mint fulfilled their promise and they went gonzo with the numbers for the American Women Quarters. Check this out. So here we go. This is the uh, Denver Minted Bank. As you can see, the D on there, and that is a beautiful design. This one's coming out on February 14, 2023, approximately $40 per product. There you go, $25 and quarters, and it's 100 quarters. And look at that product limit, 7,860 with a household order limit of 10. Yep, what? 7,860? Folks, this normally would have, and this whole year, has had 1,860. And, uh, well, check this out. I think these are the numbers here I'd like to show you. Um, here we go. American Women Quarters 2022 Rolls and Bags, Dr. Sally Ride. Now, this was the first quarter this year that saw a product limit because the Maya Angelou Quarters so no, so, saw no mintage limit. I'm so geeked up, I can't even talk had no product limit, had no mintage limit. However, like I said, this Dr. Sally Ride was the very first quarter of this program to get a product limit. 1860, folks. Well, let's look at that. 1860 compared to 7,860. That's an increase of 6,000. That's a multiple. I don't even know anybody wants to deal with that, but they definitely followed through with the promise. And it gets more interesting than that, folks, because check this out. Now, this is just the uh, Philadelphia Bank. Same story, 7,860. Let's go here to the two-roll set. Okay, look at that, 9,140. And before that, they had 5,940. I think that was the one. So let's go to the two-roll set here. Bam. Look at that, 5,940. So that's an increase of 3,200 rolls. 3,200 rolls. That's not the one. 3,200 rolls in addition to what they've already made for this year. But I think one of the interesting things this year is that um, the United States Mint will have um, order limits on their particular products. So the three roll set will have an order limit of three. But will that even make a difference seeing that the United States Mint, well, check this out. This is the three roll set, and this is what they've done for that. Remember, we were at about 7,620. Well, they've added 5K to that number for 12,620 of the three roll set. So folks, what do you think? You're gonna hit the remind me button and jump in on this, or are you gonna go, you know what, wow, they are really gonna ruin this program. They've minted too many. Or do you dig right in? So what, what's the story, folks? How do you like this? Not like this, you do. Uh, do you like the new household order limits as far as uh, the day they drop? Okay. Um, I like it. I like the household order limits. And I like the fact that the United States Mint, let's be honest, they're making this product available for everybody. And if they do this, okay, if they do this, that means they're not going to knock off our subscriptions and enrollments, right? Let's just call them subscriptions. I don't even know why. It's so hard to get out that enrollment sign. Or, you know, I wonder if people at the Mint uh, say enrollment too. But anyway, I digress. So there it is, folks. Can you believe it? The United States Mint has followed through with their promise and they went gonzo, way gonzo, adding that many more. So they've added 5,000 to the PDS rolls, 3,200 to the P&D rolls, and 6,000 for the Philly bags, and 6,000 for the Denver bags. Isn't that incredible? That is just wild. So what does that do? Does that turn you off to the program? Does that make you like the program even more? And it makes you, hey, you think, hey, you know what? A lot more people are going to get in on this now, right? Aren't they? Or does it just say, you know what? The flippers are going to get in on this. Well, if the flippers do get in on this, because there's a lot more doesn't that bring down their profit margin because it's going to be saturated? I don't know. But the bigger question here is, folks, what does it do for 2022 American Women Quarters? I would say if you have 2022 American Women Quarters, I pro it probably doubled just then. Because look at that. They they Look, if you have a bag and it was 1860 and now it's 7860, that's 6,000 more. So that's at least three times the amount that they originally had. And then the P and D rolls, um, they've added thirty two hundred, which normally was about six thousand. So that's about fifty percent more. And then just the um, the last one is the PDNS. 
So they've added 5K to what normally would be about 7,500. All right, that's about, well, I don't even know what the heck to think about uh, that particular number. Um, it's definitely, uh, gosh, math when you're doing live stuff, right? Um, so it's less than, well, it's over half. They've added over, what, 60%, 65% more pd &S rolls? I just did that in my head. I'm probably wrong. Uh, shame on me for not being able to do math in my head. But I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking 60, 65, maybe even 70% more um, of the PDS rolls. And what does that do? What does it do, folks? I want to know what you think in the comments below. So there it is. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for hanging out today. And yeah, I'll have a great weekend. Son of a Silver Stacker.